smart ice cream. Well, I came top of the class again. 100 out of 100 for maths. And 100 out of 100 for English. I'm just a natural brain. The best there is. There isn't one kid in the class who can come near me. Next to me, they're all dumb. Even when I was a baby, I was smart. The day that I was born, my mother started tickling me. Bub, 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 she said. Cut it out, mum, I told her. That tickles. She nearly fell out of bed when I said that. I was very advanced for my age. Every year, I won a lot of prizes. Top of the class, top of the school, stuff like that. I won a prize for spelling when I was only three years old. I'm a terrific speller. If you can say it, I can spell it. Nobody can trick me on spelling. I can spell every word there is. Some kids don't like me. I know that for a fact. They say I'm a show-off, but I don't care. They are just jealous because they're not as clever as me. I'm good looking too, and that's another reason why they're jealous. Last week, something bad happened. Another kid got 100 out of 100 for maths too. That's never happened before. No one has ever done as well as me. I'm always first on my own. A kid called Jerome Dadian beat me. He must have cheated. I was sure he cheated. It had something to do with that ice cream. I was sure of it. I decided to find out what was going on. I wasn't going to let anyone pull a fast one on me. It all started with the ice cream man, Mr. Peppy. The old fool had a van which he parked outside the school. He sold ice cream, all different types. He had every flavour there is, and some that I'd never heard of before. He didn't like me very much. He told me off once. Hey, go back to the back of the queue, he said. You pushed in. Mind your own business, Pop, I told him. Just hand over the ice cream. No way. I won't serve you unless you go to the back. I went around to the back of the van, but I didn't get into the queue. I took out a nail and made a long scratch down his old rotten van. He'd just had it painted too. Peppy came back and had a look. Tears came into his eyes. You're a bad boy, he said. One day you'll get in trouble. You think you're smart. One day you'll be too smart. I just laughed and walked off. I knew he wouldn't do anything. He was too soft-hearted. He was always giving free ice creams to kids that had no money. He felt sorry for poor people, the silly fool. There were a lot of stories going around about that ice cream. People said that it was good for you. Some kids said it made you better when you were sick. One of the teachers called it happy ice cream. I didn't believe it. It never made me happy. All the same, there was something strange about it. Take Pimples Peterson, for example. It wasn't his real name. I just called him that because he had a lot of pimples. Anyway, Peepy heard me calling, Pimples Peterson. You're a real mean boy, he said. You're always picking on someone else just because they're not like you. Get lost, Peppy, I said. Go and flog your ice cream somewhere else. Peppy didn't answer. Instead, he spoke to Pimples. Here, eat this, he told him. He, en he handed Peterson an ice cream. It was the biggest ice cream he'd ever seen. It was coloured purple. Peterson wasn't too sure about it. He didn't think he had enough money for such a big ice cream. Go on, said Mr. Peppy. Eat it. I'm giving it to you for nothing. It'll get rid of your pimples. I laughed and laughed. Ice cream doesn't get rid of pimples. It gives you pimples. Anyway, the next day, when Peterson came to school, he had no more pimples. No one could believe it. The ice cream had cured his pimples. There were some other strange things that happened, too. There was a kid at school who had a really long nose. Boy, was it long. He'd looked like Pinocchio. When he blew it, you could hear it a mile away. I used to call him Snozzle. He didn't like being called Snozzle. He used to go red in the face when I said it. And that was every time I saw him. He didn't say anything back. He was scared I would punch him. Peppy felt sorry for Snozzle too. He gave him a small green ice cream every morning. For nothing. What a jerk. He never gave me free ice cream. 
You won't believe what happened, but I swear it's true. Snozzle's nose began to grow smaller and smaller. Every day, it grew just a little bit smaller. In the end, it was just a normal nose. When it was the right size, Peepy stopped giving him the green ice creams. I made up my mind to put a stop to this ice cream business. Jerome Dadian had been eating ice cream from the day he got 100 for maths. It must have been the ice cream making him smart. I wasn't going to have anyone doing as well as me. I'm the smartest kid in school, and that's the way I wanted it to stay. I wanted to get a good look inside that ice cream van to find out what was going on. I knew where Peppy kept his van at night. He left it in a small lane behind his house. I waited till about 11 o'clock at night. I crept out of the house and down to Peppy's van. I took a crowbar, a bucket of sand and a torch, some bolt cutters with me. There was no one around when I reached the van. I sprung the door open and with a crowbar shone my torch around inside. I had never seen so many tubs of ice cream before. There was every flavour you could think of. It was apple and banana, cherry and mango, blackberry, watermelon, and about 50 other flavours. Right at the end of the van there were four bins with locks on them. I went over and had a look, and just as I thought, these were his special flavours. Each one had writing on the top, and they said, Happy ice cream for cheering people up. Nose ice cream for long noses. Pimple ice cream for removing pimples. And smart ice cream for smart Alex. Now I knew his secret. That rat Dadian had been eating smart ice cream. That's how we got a hundred for maths. I knew there couldn't be anyone as nearly as clever as me. I decided to fix Peppy up once and for all. I took out the bolt cutters and I cut the locks off the four bins. Then I put sand into every bin in the van except for the smart ice cream. I didn't put any sand in that one. I laughed to myself. People wouldn't sell ice cream now, not unless he started a new flavour, sand flavour. I looked at the smart ice cream, decided to eat some. Couldn't do any harm. Not that I needed it. I was already about as smart as you could get. Anyway, I gave it a try. I ate the lot. Once I started, I couldn't stop. It tasted good was delicious. I left the van and went home to bed, but I couldn't sleep. To tell the truth, I didn't feel too good. So I've decided to write this. Then if any funny business is going on, you people will know what happened. I, th I think I've made a mistake. I, d I think Dadian didn't have any smart ice cream at all. It it's the next day now. Something's happening to me. I don't feel quite as smart. I have been trying to do real hard sum. It was one and one. What does one and one make? Uh, is it three? Or is it four?